I'm Chris, and today we're going to open this safe. Let's do this real quick. Safes are a great thing to keep things secure. But with any safe, you want to make sure the items you keep inside are going to be secure and they're not going to be accessed when you don't want them to be. I picked this safe up at a garage sale and it's not a bad little safe. It has some nice features that I like. It has a nice electronic lock that's nice and easy to open with a reset button on the inside so you can change the code anytime you want. The batteries are located inside and if the batteries should happen to fail, you can go ahead and open the safe with a key so you can replace the batteries and still access your safe. Now there are a few features on this safe that I don't like. The key they decided to use is garbage. Now this is obviously not the key. It's not even a lock pick. But you can defeat that keyway no problem. Now the electronic lock is a nice feature. And it's fast, quick, and simple. But it does have its downfalls. That reset button that's inside is fairly easy to go ahead and manipulate. And it doesn't take long at all before you can go ahead and change the code. With the code changed, without even opening a safe, we can easily get into the safe. Now another downfall to this safe double check that it is locked, I can go ahead and give it a quick tap on the top and open it right up. That is a pretty, pretty poor feature. So let's go ahead and take a look inside this safe to see if there's anything we can do to improve upon the design. Now this is the inside door. This is the bypass button you can press and change the code on the safe. And this is what allows me to get in here and basically manipulate this so I can depress that button from the front without ever opening the safe and it allows me to change the code so I can open the safe. But let's go ahead and take a look inside here so we can really see what's going on when we're pounding on the safe to defeat this locking bolt. So there's a few things going on in here. This is a solenoid that gets energized, and this is a pin that gets retracted when we punch in the code on the front. And it allows us to move the bolt to open the safe. This is the cam lock that when we turn the key, it bypasses that solenoid. It basically pushes that pin down in case the batteries were dead. But as you can see, this bracket here is barely making contact with that pin. Now what can we do to improve upon this to make it a little bit more secure? If that bracket was adjusted down a little bit more, you wouldn't be able to pound from the top as easily. Also, if you had a stronger pin and solenoid, you wouldn't be able to hit down so easily. But with a stronger pin and solenoid, you might be able to mount it vertical here with the pin facing down so that the solenoid had to retract the pin upwards. This way, pounding on the top of the safe would do no good. And if the safe was bolted to the floor, you'd have double protection there. And if you replace this cam lock with a better lock that you couldn't pick, you wouldn't be able to bypass that so easily. And as far as this reset button goes, I would go ahead and drill a hole in the front and mount it on the front here. And if you can, mount it so it's recessed so that you have to push in with a pen or something like that. So it's a little bit harder to access from the outside and it's not in the factory position where everybody knows where it is. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely check out some of my other videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends. And if you found this video helpful in determining if you're going to buy a safe like this or not, please leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much.